So the raw dish that we're going to play around with, we have two. We have a sashimi and we have a, uh, a sushi. So the biggest difference, sashimi, no rice, sushi, rice. We've taken a Spanish mackerel and we've cured it. Now after we give it a cure, we take it and then we pickle it or marinate it. So that's what this fish is. The tuna, much easier. We get it, we cut it, we leave it. That's it. So what do we do? We take this piece of tuna. Oh, we're gonna put, so we're gonna make this one sushi. So we have some rice, some nigiri. What we've done is we've made it Greek by saying we're gonna use red wine vinegar and champagne vinegar. Instead of using Asian products, we're using Greek products. What we're doing is we're just getting a little bit of olive oil on top, some salt, some sea salt, some mignonette pepper. Now, we, we do something com called compressing. Compressing is a very interesting technique of, of cooking something via eliminating air. So watermelon, a lot of water and a lot of air, okay? If we put it into a bag and cryovac it, suck all the air out, it squishes all that air out and intensifies the flavor of the watermelon. So we have a little bit of that in here. We have some anuri cheese. It's a young sheet milk cheese. And to this, we need to season salt and pepper, a little bit more olive oil. And now we're making a little salad of our famous feta watermelon. What we've done here is we've taken watermelon and we've dehydrated it. The intensity of the flavor and the natural sweetness that you get when you dehydrate something, spectacular. So we're gonna put a little bit of that on there. And then, you know, not to throw anything out, we've taken the flida, the skin, and we pickled it. So now what we're getting here is that whole idea of feta cheese and watermelon on a piece of raw fish, on some rice made with red wine vinegar, okay? One bite. Over here, we're gonna do cucumber. On the cucumber, we're going to have our pickled mackerel. Again, a little bit of olive oil. Okay, so this is just a little bit of yogurt, some Greek yogurt. We thinned it out with a little bit of vinegar that's been infused with a little bit of rosemary. This is lemon zest that's been dried in a little bit of a dehydrator. This right here are threads of a chili plant. Little spicy. That's a piece of olive. That little black tar we call it tar that we put on there is we took olives, we dehydrated them, then we macerated them after we've dehydrated them in olive oil. Then we've taken a, a Vitamix and we've whipped it. Okay, this is an arugula bloom, arugula blossom. Okay, and this is a nustrium leaf. That's it. One of the things that I, that I think you can take away from this is if you like raw fish, and you wanna play around with stuff on top of it, is that really all it is is taking things that you enjoy, simple salads, simple vegetables, simple things, right? That you could even buy, especially pickled items, right? And then just put them on top and all of a sudden you've created your own sushi. You've created your own sashimi. You can create your own little thing. Cheese, anything, works wonderful. Experiment.